Good day, everyone. If you are looking to create a uh, cost calculator for your WordPress website regarding content creation, if you're a content writing agency, then this tutorial might be beneficial for you. Um, we're going to be uploading this um, template that we're going to be creating today in the video as a one click demo load uh, within Stylish Cost Calculator. So you can just load it. Uh, within one click and have it up and running within seconds. But uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how we're creating it. So if you would like to customize it for your business, that would be easier for you to do after learning how we're doing it. I browsed a few websites uh, for agencies that create um, content, content writers, and a lot of them didn't really post their prices and they didn't have tiers and uh, or they were just very complicated and cumbersome to, to understand. So um, I chose this website, the clean website, it was, it was full featured as well, uh, had lots of content on it, um, unlike some other sites that were very thin in content. So I'm going to choose this one. It seems like they have three tiers of how much they charge per word depending on what you're getting. So I'm just going to go ahead and create this as a template. Um, but I also realized too that these prices here are much different than their pricing scheme structure. The way it's set up is a lot different than other agencies. So I might create a second template as well. So just bear that in mind. Uh, I'll try to put the links in the description. So let's take a look here. We've got three different types. So what I'm thinking here is probably just building three separate sliders putting it onto the same form and then the user can just um, use whatever slider that they that they choose that is relevant to the content that they're trying to create. Therefore, if we have three different sliders at the same time, uh, maybe the user wants a blog post and an ebook uh, in the same order. So this would uh, cater to them. Uh, I also want to remind everyone that we do integrate into WooCommerce and to PayPal. So people would be able to purchase your services and not just get a quote. All right, let's start off with the general blog post. I'm going to create a new calculator and call it content writing agency. Content writing agency template. We're going to click continue. Um, so the first thing I like to do is just set up the, the name. So um, for this section, it would be, oh geez, what would we call it? So our agency's content creation and marketing packages. Uh, heck, let's just copy and paste what they have going on here. Why not? So we're going to create three sliders. You're only allowed one slider per subsection because of how the way that the slider is engineered. So we're going to have to create three subsections. So the first subsection again is going to be a slider and we're just going to go to that website, copy and paste the title and there is a description we could put a description I'm gonna figure out where we could put the description but it's basically it's 30 cents a word so what we're gonna do is the steps will go up by one one step it gets one word at a time it'll start off at one and the maximum we're gonna sell is let's say a hundred thousand words Let's just say that's the maximum that you're willing to sell. And the price is going to be 30 cents per word. So nice and easy. Let's just press save and see how that's behaving. What I like about our uh, cost calculator is that you can immediately see what you're doing right away, unlike some other plugins, which uh, you have to post it to the site and refresh the site and all that stuff. So um, yeah, so it looks like it's working quite well already. Um, the only thing is, is that you'll notice that because it could be up to 100,000 words, that the sliders can be very, can be really hard for the person to pinpoint what, um, it's going to be hard for them to use the sliders. So I think in, in this circumstance, it actually might be better that we not use this uh, slider and we use a number box and the number box is going to be general general post, general blog post, 0.35 cents per, how much it was, yeah, 30 cents. Okay, and let's just refresh that and see what it looks like. So general number post, and the person can type in um, how many words they want, and then when they're done, boom, um, they just click anywhere off the screen, it just automatically 
updates it here. So that might be the better option. So it's really hard to say. I think it's going to be up to your um, your pricing structure or how many words that you're selling. So to get rid of the slider, let's just go here, click on the slider again, it gets rid of the slider and let's just use number boxes. So the next one's going to be email ebook. I'm not going to click mandatory here because we don't know which one the user is going to pick. So let's go ahead and press refresh. And there the number of boxes are. So we're going to have to use the description here to, to enter in the pricing. Um, so we're just going to copy and paste this. Go into the description. We can use HTML in the description to make it look nice and clean. Do is bold. Or maybe, you know what, we can even use like an H2 tag or something like that. Yeah, why not? Why not use a, an H3 so it's not too, too big. It's and clean. And I'm pretty happy with the design so far. We added a little line right here. Um, we even changed the columns by clicking here. We made them six columns to um, actually fit all the, the words in the title and so it wasn't too scrunched up. So this is starting to look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this design so far. You can add to cart. If you have PayPal, you can integrate it through PayPal through these, these linking methods here. And by linking them with PayPal and WooCommerce, you can add those extra buttons there as well. So yes, I hope uh, this, this uh, helps you guys out and understand Stylish Cost Calculator a little bit more. And if you have any other questions, please visit stylishcostcalculator.com support.